This video is intended for those who have used recursion earlier but are not quite clear what goes on behind the scene. Here I have written a function. This is a recursive function. I have called this function and passed the value 3 as the parameter. Now try to find out the output of this function or output of this program and try to match with the output of mine. So I'm just going to run it. So this is the output of this program. Now if you have caught this program, if you have got the output correct, then probably you know how recursion works and I guess you don't need to watch this video. But if you did not get it right, then I think I'll be able to help you. Now let's have a look at the function. So this is the function, name of the function is f and it takes an integer as a parameter. Now it's a recursive function, so this is the base case, when x equals 0 it returns and otherwise it decrements x prints the value of x then it calls itself so it's because it's a recursive function and once again it prints the value of x okay so let's try to figure out how it works now before i start you need to remember one thing whenever you call a function you are basically telling the program to execute a block of code for you so this is our program and this is our output so let's try to see how it works. Let's try to simulate this program. Now in the program, the one and only thing that we've done is made a function called f3. So we have passed 3 as parameter. And whenever we call a function, we basically tell the program to run a block of code for us. Now we have called this function f3. Now this is going to run this block of code here. Okay and we have passed value 3 as the parameter so the value of x is going to be 3 now if x equals 0 or 3 equals 0 then return now x is not equal to 0 it's not going to work now we're going to decrement the value of x so x is now going to be 2 then we have printed the value of x so x is now 2 and it's going to print out 2 on the cons console so it prints out 2 once again we have called the function once again we have made a call to the function and a function call means execution of a block of code so it's basically calling the function once again now this time we have passed the value of x now the value of x is 2 because it has been decremented on this line so in this function for this function the value of x is 2 now 2 is not equal to 0 now this if 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 condition is not going to be satisfied once again the value of x dec decrements so it uh, now it becomes 1 now once again we have printed the value of x here and the value of x in this case is 1 so we are going to see 1 on the console as output and once again we have called the function f so the function is going to okay i'm just going to copy and paste it here okay in this case we have passed 1 as parameter and the value of 1 so value of x is 1 so we are passing 1 as parameter, so value of x becomes 1 in this case, 1 is not equal to 0, so therefore x is decremented in this line, value of x becomes 0. Now we are printing value of x which is 0 in this case, so 0 is going to be printed on the console. Once again we are making a function call, okay in this case we are also passing the value of x, value of x is 0, so in this case, in this function or in this state the value of x becomes 0 now x equals 0 or the value of x is 0 so in this case if condition is uh, satisfied therefore the function is going to return from this line it's not going to execute this block of code it's going to return from this line it's going to return and what is it going to return it's going to return from where it was called now it was called from this line so it's going to return to the same line where it, uh, it was called from so it's going to go back to the same line now this line is executed so we are going to execute the next line which is print value of x in this function or in this state the value of x is what the value of x is 0 so we are going to print 0 on the console the execution of this block of code is over and therefore this function is going to return why is it going to return it's going to return to the place where it was called from it was called from this line so it's going to return to this line this line is executed once again and we are going to print the value of x in this state or in this function the value of x is 1 therefore we are going to see 1 on the console now it's going to return as well because 
the execution of this block of code is over so it's going to return now we'll have to print the value of x in this state the value of x was 2 so we're going to print 2 out on the console now the execution of this block of code is completed so therefore it's going to return back to the line where it was called from it was called from this line now finally the execution of this line is completed or execution of this function call is completed so that's how recursion actually works it runs the same block of code time and time again and all these blocks of code we call them as state for example we call this a state we call this one a state in this state the value of x was 1 then it was decremented to 0 so all of these blocks of codes we call them as states